Hello and welcome to Out of the Park Baseball 16. This is something that people were saying they wanted to see. And, uh, well, we're going to bring it. So OOTP 16 is coming to the Jersey Born channel. And we're going to do something a bit different, though. We're not going to just take over some just already made team. That's my phone. Ignore that. In the in the end, will be already. What we're going to do is we're going to do an expansion team. Ooh, fancy. So, in order to do this expansion team, we need to start the new standard game and go with Major League Baseball. This is going to be pretty loud on the keyboard here. So, let's go YouTube and start the game. And we'll let this load up and I'll come back once this is all loaded up. And we are back, and yes, you were seeing that correctly. First name Dave, last name Grohl. That's his actual birthday, January 14th, 1969. That is who we are going to be playing as, the general manager and GM. And you notice we're playing in commissioner mode because we need to do that to do the expansion team. So, we have it all set up. Dave Grohl is who we are. We are starting unemployed, and we'll boot this thing up. So here we are in the OOTP. So first things first, we need to find a, it's been a while since I've done this, find league settings, I believe. Yeah, here we go. Expand league and schedule expansion draft. All right. So I do not know what I'm going to name the teams, so we'll be right back. All right, so as of right now, we don't have anything creative for our name. So we're going to be the Foo Fighters, because I can't come up with anything else. If I do come up with something more creative that are Foo Fighters related because we're Dave Grohl, well, then I'll come up with that and put that in because I just edit it any time, really. But the NL team that we're going to put in, because we're going to be the AL West, because if you guys don't know, the Foo Fighters originate in Seattle, Washington, so it wouldn't be realistic obviously well, now it's, it's pretty unrealistic to have a team called the Foo Fighters anyway but we're just going to go with it and go to AL West the Hartford Whalers are going to be the NL team former hockey team now making a return to the baseball scene they're going to be the NL East because we need AL and NL to be expanded so we're going to expand the league schedule the expansion draft and here we go so we've got the expansion draft uh, I need to go to available jobs and where is the Foo Fighters apply as manager all right okay we are now the GM and manager of the Foo Fighters and before we do this draft, I'm going to make sure that... Where is this? Make sure it knows that it is Seattle. All right. Seattle, Washington. There we go. So that's what we've got for the Foo Fighters. Uh, mail news, Dave Control. Dave Grohl takes control in Seattle, or Foo Fighters. And let's get this expansion draft going. So you see it's Serpentine, 35 rounds, continue. Er, it does not take place today. Well, when is the draft then? Uh, what is it, tomorrow? How is it tomorrow? Tomorrow's opening day. That's just... I don't know. So we should probably advance that day, considering we don't have anyone in the protection thing. Expansion draft. Here we go. Alright, so first pick in the expansion draft goes to us, and I'm not going to go with a... Reliever, obviously, first round. Brandon Mora would be interesting. What about batters we got in here? Uh, who are you? Ryan Jackson. Uh, I don't know about you. Triple A. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with Brandon Morrow as my top pick. 
So Brandon Morrow, uh, they picked Blake Trinian. Brandon, how long is Brandon? Three months with the Tommy John surgery. All right, so we're not going to get beachy. Uh, maybe Chris Bassett is another pitcher. I think I'd prefer to go with a batter here, though, and just, like, even it out. Possibly Everett Cabrera. Maybe I will go with Ryan Jackson, though. Uh, could just be my scout overhyping him, though. Will Middlebrooks is here. Logan Forsyth. Uh, I don't know. It is an expansion draft after all, so I mean... Doesn't matter too much who we're getting here because it is going to be the first season. Uh, I'll just snag Everett Cabrera. Next guy. Oh, that's right, it's my pick back to back because it's Serpentine. And then I'll get Middlebrooks. And then we'll go back to pitching here. Snag up Chris Bassett. Uh, next pick by Fu. Uh, are the relievers still here? I kind of want to snag one of these good relievers while we still can, like Steve Getz, maybe. Steve Geltz, I mean. I'm going to go do that right quick. And then we go back to starters. Oh, yeah, starters are starting to uh, drop off here like flies. Joe Kelly's only out for three weeks. He might be an interesting pickup. Daniel Hudson, possibly. Jeremy Guthrie. Only oh, yeah, three months. Uh, Taylor Hill, what are you all about here? No. I'm going to go with Joe Kelly. And then we go and go back to batters here. We've got a third and shortstop. So I think I'm going to go with Darwin Barney might be interesting. Decent glove out there in the field. Tyler Leitendorf from the A's this year. Tommy, Why is Tommy Medica so... That's yeah, just my scout overhyping, I'm pretty sure, because I doubt I have an actual good scout. I'm going to go with... Well, what is Darren Barney's contract? Is he... Hmm. Contract status, $2 million up after the season, I guess. So... Or I could go with Leidendorf. Think I'm gonna go with Leidendorf. All right, he's gonna play second though, so I'm not sure why they have him at shortstop. Uh, I'm gonna snag up my catcher here real quick because I know Maldonado is a very good defensive catcher. Starters, we've got two starters already. Apparently you have two relievers, because I guess they put one of my starters at a reliever spot. Uh, I'm going to take Frias here. Hopefully he's pretty decent. And take Seth Manis. Interesting. Alex Web Alan Webster. He could be pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab Alan Webster. And then we're gonna grab a reliever. I don't know, relievers are, they'll be here for a while, I'm pretty sure. And then I should probably grab an outfielder since we don't have any of those. Oh, Matt Caesar, got to go with them. If you don't know why, got to go with them. Just take a look at uh, City of Birth right there, Cape May, New Jersey, South Jersey right there. Matt Caesar's now my starting center fielder. Jake Gabbert, Daniel Nava, Alejandro de Haza, uh, five million. I don't know about that. Uh, oh, it's at, at end of the year, so I'll just go with the Haza here. And then I'll go... I didn't want to do that, but... 
back to starting pitchers here. And I'll go with, I mean, Guthrie. Maybe I'll go with Chris Heston. Why not give him a shot? Next pick by Fu. All batters here. Who's here at first base? Tommy Medica, Adam Duvall. Uh, Adam Duvall is not very good. I'll go with Medica. And we'll go next pick by Fu. Another outfielder possibly here. Who's the potential ratings? What do we got over here? Mark Canna. Jehun Ha. Not exactly uh, Major League ready. This guy's pretty interesting. He would provide a decent amount of uh, fielding. That's for damn sure. Possibly a pinch runner off the bench. I'll see if he's still here later. As of right now, I'm going to get a starter in the outfield. and Or do I already have a starter in the outfield? I feel like I definitely already have a starter in the outfield. Uh, why did they put Medica in left? Okay, he's my first baseman. Uh, Daza will probably play left, and Caesar will play center. So we should probably look for a right fielder here. Continue draft. Outfielders. I really doubt Nava can't play right, so I'm just going to go with Daniel Nava here. He's a lefty, so it might be good to get a right-handed bat and pull an Ian right here and uh, platoon him with somebody. Possibly, I don't really want to go with Jake Gabbert, though. Uh, right field. All right, apparently Ryan Flaherty can play right field. Eric Campbell, not very well. Not very well. Uh, Tui, Tui Sopo? That's a decent amount of... Uh, he can't play right, really, though. That's just... I'm going to draft him because he's got that high discipline, and high discipline guys usually play pretty well for me. Uh, let's go back to starters here. And since no one's drafting Taylor Hill, I'm going to draft him. Grab some relievers. Snag him up. Uh, I mean, you might as well go for these top guys that are just sitting here since... Well, they didn't protect him. Bruce Rondon only at three months. Chase and Shreve would be a good lefty to have in the bullpen. I'm going to go with him. Uh, then we're going to go with... Hmm, I don't really want to go with Barrett's 10 control there. But, you know, we will anyway. So Aaron Barrett, a couple of relievers there. You get arms, Taylor Jordan, Christian Bergman. I'll go with Jordan because of the control. And then we'll go with Bergman as well. Get some depth with the starting pitching. If you want to even call it depth. Uh, first base Duvall, possibly. Possibly. Uh, who is the outfield that I wanted to snag up here? Uh, did someone take him? Oh, no, he's still here. I'm going to snag him up real fast. Uh, Junior Lake, he's not very good. Who is this guy where he's... He's at two to three months. He's not very good, though. Gary Brandon he used to be a pretty high prospect. Pretty sure with the uh, Giants. Jeremy Hazel, LJ Hose. He's got a good amount of defense there. We should probably want to get some backup infielders here, though. Uh, no one's taken Ryan Jackson yet, so I'm just going to snag him up real quick. Uh, I'll take Jorge Polanco as well. 
Uh, I'll take Carlos Sanchez. Why not just stock up on everything you possibly can? I mean, prospects are really the name of the game. Just as much value as you could possibly get. Uh, this guy's pretty damn good in the field, so I'm going to snag him up. Uh, go back to starters. I'm not sure how many picks here that I'm just going to draft uh, of this 35 rounds total. So I'll probably just do all 35 rounds. Brian Flynn, Guthrie. Uh, I feel like Guthrie wouldn't exactly be worth getting, though. Alex Colome? What? He's out five to six weeks with nausea. Okay. Interesting. Jonathan Pettibone, Tommy Malone. Uh, I definitely feel like there's probably... Not pitching stats. Pitching... Ratings. Control. Bronson Arroyo is 18 control. Uh, I'm going to draft him and just... What's his contract looking like? Three years, 30 mil. End of 2016. Uh, I don't know. What about Guthrie? What's his looking like? 2015 at the end of the year it runs out. Eh, I'll, I'll take a risk on Bronson Arroyo even though he's hurt. Then we'll go with a relieve, couple of relievers here because we need more of those. Uh, Chris Young, he would be interesting to get. He was really good in real life. Juan Nicasio, Flaherty, J.P. Howell, Quackenbush. I'm going to go with Quackenbush. And I'm also going to go with... Tim Collins is always pretty damn good in these leagues, but he's at 12 months. Uh, I could just kind of be a dick and snag him up here and uh, take him for myself. I'm going to go with Phil Klein, though. Until next pick by Fu. Nicasio. Yimi Garcia. Is he Mr. Nice Guy? Uh, I'll go with him. Why not? Stock up on some young guys. Get a veteran reliever as well. Like Chris. Well, what is Chris Young's? Young is very sharp. He's not expensive at all either, so I'm going to snag him. Take a look at who we have in waivers and DFA. And... Why do they have Moro as a relief pitcher? He's not going to be a relief pitcher. He's He was our first uh, pick of, <laughs> of the draft. Mm, Baez. Do I really want to take a chance here on Baez? Mm, not really a chance, but I mean... Bruce Rondone. That's some pretty shitty control. Uh, I need a backup catcher still, so I'm going to do that right quick. Austin Romine, possibly. Sandy Leone. Kirk Casale. I'll go Romine, just because I know more about Romine. Uh, I, could, I should probably go with another one here, though. So, potential rating. Roberto Pena. Tucker Barnhart. Now he's really good defensively. Uh, I'll put Barnhart. I just see Ryan LeVarn way down there. Yep, I did. So, outfielders, see if we can get... Uh, do we have enough outfielders, though? We're probably We probably have enough outfielders. We don't have enough infielders. At least I don't think we do. Matt Dominguez, Adam Duvall. I'm going to go with Duvall here and uh, kind of re reevaluate the lineup when it comes time to actually get that done. Darwin Barney, Blanco. I feel like Barney would just be a good pickup just because he can play the field extremely well. So I'm going to snag him up. Snag up Salcedo. Uh, 
And that's the end of the draft. All right, welcome back. It's uh, opening day. We've drafted the lineup, and we have set our... Well, we've drafted our team, we've set our lineups, and we've set our pitching staff as of right now. Things are going to change because this is the start of the season. We're not going to sim yet in this episode. That'll be in episode two, so this is just beginning over the roster here. So pitching staff, one through five starting rotation is Brandon Morrow, Chris Bassett, Chris Heston, Christian Bergman, and Alan Webster. So... They're all pretty young. Uh, oldest one, obviously, is Brandon Moore, who's 30, who is going to be the quote-unquote ace of our staff, if you want to call Brandon Moro an ace. Then we got Chris Bassett, who's pretty decent, th two and a half stars, uh, three and a half star potential. Uh, those don't mean as much in this game, though, because it's really just based on how they perform. Uh, Chris Heston, I'm sure you, most people who follow baseball know who Chris Heston is. He was the rookie for the Giants this year who threw the no-hitter against the Mets. Uh, Bergman and Alan Webster will be our fifth guy. Berg, I only really like Jonathan Bergman because he's got good control, and uh, that's why he's in the rotation, obviously. Alan Webster, because he I'm pretty sure he was a top prospect for a while, but uh, now he is a... Uh, he ended up getting sent to the D-backs, and now he's with us. And he's going to be our number five guy to start off the year. Bullpen, closers Aaron Barrett. Setup will be Steve Geltz, who's a five-star setup guy. Uh, Barrett's four and a half stars. I just went up there as the closer over Geltz because he's got more experience in the major leagues, while Geltz just kind of spent 11 games at Tampa Bay last year. Uh, Quackenbush, Yimi Garcia, Chasen Shreve, and Phil Klein are the middle relievers. I know we have one short relievers that we usually have, and we have one extra bench player, but that's what we're rolling with right now. Then the lineup so, and run up as of opening day, one through five is Everett Cabrera. I'm sure you guys know Everett Cabrera is 19 speed, 18 stealing, 17 base running, good sack bunt, good bunt for hit. So I figured I'd slap him in the leadoff spot there. He'll steal a bunch of bases, get some run production from that. In the second spot, we've got a good contact hitter with uh, Carlos Sanchez, 22-year-old second baseman. Decent speed, decent bunt for hit, all that type of stuff too as well. So he should be able to provide a decent spot up there in the number two spot. Tommy Medica in the three hole, a decent power bat, 13 out of 14 power, 12 discipline. I want, I'm going to change this to uh, the 20 to 80 scale though because that's what I usually go for, the official scouting scale of the major leagues. Uh, Will Middlebrooks is in the cleanup spot. Former Red Sox, Daniel Nava, also former Red Sox, in the five spot, playing right field. Uh, Tui Sopo, I believe how you say it. I'll, I will learn to say that eventually. He is going to be the DHing and in uh, the six hole. Deaza in the seventh hole, playing left field. Uh, Matt Caesar from Cape May, New Jersey. Good speed. I was thinking about putting him out as the second hitter, but then I was like, Sanchez has better contacts. So we'll put him there, and Caesar will be kind of like a bottom of the order guy. And nine hole is Martin Maldonado, who literally the only reason I draft this guy is because I know he provides a good locker room presence and because I know he's ridiculous behind the plate defensively. So that's pretty good. One through nine. This is the expansion team on the bench. You've got Roman as the backup catcher. Leidendorf as a utility uh, defensive player. Decent speed, too. Uh, not very good on the bat, but again, none of these guys are exactly any good. Uh, Ryan Jackson, we ended up picking him up great defensively, 17-plus uh, range of basically everything but turn DP, great shortstop, and he's a 2.5 star currently with a 4.5 star potential according to our head scout. OSA isn't as kind to him, but our head scout apparently thinks so, which if you ask me, our head scout's probably not very good, but uh, that will eventually change. And then in the outfield, as a backup outfielder, we're going to have Gorky's Hernandez, who... Like you saw me draft him. He is a pretty fast 16 speed. Good sack bunt, good bunt for hit, decent amount of stealing. And he's a great defensive center fielder. So he'll be able to get something done in the field and on the base paths. So that's what the lineup looks like. Left-handed pitcher is exactly the same thing. I didn't change anything for it. Uh, I was going to platoon, but I didn't really have anybody to platoon with because we have the DH and 2E Soap or whatever his, whatever his name is is going to be the DH while Nova plays Nava plays the field. So yeah, that's going to be it. And uh, yeah, that's we are up in, we're at opening day. So for episode 2, when we come back, oh yeah, we also have Joe Kelly down here 
who is on the DL. Put him on the 15-day DL. He's out for three weeks and stuff the season. Once he comes back, I'll decide who I want to replace him in the rotation with, and I'll send somebody down who is struggling. Because right now, it's pretty much nobody has their spot set on this team. This is an expansion team. Nobody's good. So, when we come back for episode two, we're going to start the simming. But that wraps things up here for episode one of the Foo Fighters OOTP series. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye.